I can't believe that I have to do this on my island. I truly thought that I could get away with not doing this for forever, but that is not the case. As you may or may not have guessed by where I am currently standing, today, today we're taking care of the chaos area. Yep, yep, I know, thank you, thank you. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming, honestly. And in case you're new here or you don't know, this is my chaos area. And a chaos area is kind of like where you dump stuff when you don't know what to do with it or, you know, you don't know what to do with your life. We've got your extra pumpkins. We've got extra weeds. We've got flowers everywhere duplicating and multiplying until it becomes overwhelming and your whole island is covered in flowers and you don't know what to do with yourself and you just delete your game. You know, extra trees, extra rocks, all kinds of stuff like that. And and honestly, my chaos area is not that bad. We just have this little chunk. Over time, as I've been filling in my island, my chaos area has gotten smaller and smaller. So now it's just condensed into this little area. And honestly, yeah, like I said, this is, this is not that bad. I've seen worse. I've had worse. I, I've definitely had worse. But it's definitely an eyesore in between, you know, two beautiful builds that I have. I have my train station up here. And then I have my really cute little manicured garden down here. And then, you know, I just, I just hate having this in between. This is not a good segue between the two of them. And I want to fix it. Like, let's, let's just get rid of the chaos area once and for all. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And if we finish this up pretty quickly, I'll work on some other areas of the island as well. We're actually really, really close to being done with Leapfrog. It's so exciting. At the very least, we're really close to being done with all of the exteriors stuff. I still have a lot of interior stuff to do, like remodeling my villagers' houses interiors, if I really care about that. I'm trying to decide if I truly want to, like, fix all of their interiors or if I just kind of, like, don't care. <laughs> Some of them I did remodel, but yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do every single one. And then, of course, there's my interior, the inside of my house, which is absolutely not done whatsoever. But yeah, aside from that, I think we have two other areas on leapfrog that i need to finish it's actually it's actually pretty amazing we're really really close and it's kind of bittersweet at the same time because i don't want to be done with this island like ugh. but at the same time i want to be done with this island ugh. i'm really excited to work on farm core honestly but i am not ready to say goodbye to this island yet so don't worry even though we finish it's still going to be sticking around and who knows maybe i decide to tweak things and we still get you know some kid core builds on the channel i definitely can't leave my cast of characters behind you know all of my supporting cast they've been doing such a great job since opening night i you know i gotta i gotta give them some credit and some more time to shine so definitely love this island a whole whole lot so yeah i'm probably gonna go and sell these things to be honest and i guess that's gonna mean that i'm not gonna have any extra flowers which is fine honestly i haven't been using flowers very much anyway maybe i'll keep a few of the green mums i i feel like i use those quite a bit compared to any other flowers so we'll keep some of those but that's pretty much it but anyway and oh you good you good? Okay. Uh, alright then. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go and sell all of this stuff. Hey besties. I hope you guys like pumpkins. Ahaha. <laughs> Ahaha. Ooh, for 7,000 bells? That's pretty decent profit from the chaos area. Thank you, chaos area. And while we run back, this is your reminder, your friendly froggy reminder to drink some water because I woke up and I decided today that I am going to drink a lot of water. So <laughs> I just filled a huge mason jar full of water and I've been chugging it this morning. So you should do the same. Chug some water if you haven't already. If you did already, then okay, that's, that's fine. This doesn't apply to you. But make sure you drink your water. You know, just saying. I don't know where my rocks are gonna go. I keep destroying them because they keep like <laughs> spawning in the, in the most inconvenient places, but I don't have like a designated spot for them. All right, so I just picked everything back up. It all fit perfectly in my inventory. Look at that. That never, that never seems to happen to me. I always seem to have a full inventory. So honestly, I appreciate it this time. This is also not supposed to be here, this crafting table. So let's put some stuff away. Did anyone else watch like movies like over and over like as a child? That's something that I would do a lot with my siblings. We would have a lot of movies either on like DVD or on, I don't know, it wasn't a streaming service, but we would have something, I forgot what it was, where we would have access to a bunch of movies and we would just like watch the most random movies over and over again, like Shark Tale and Chicken Little and like, I don't know, just so many movies. And when I say over and over again, I mean like once it was over, they just restarted it again. <laughs> 
there's so many movies that people will bring up and in my head i'll be like oh yeah i used to like re i used to watch that on repeat like 24 7. <laughs> okay but anyways so my plan right now um is just to do some cliffs and some waterfalls and have like a pretty little waterfall path that we walk through i'm thinking i want to change this fence because it's kind of boring and I'm thinking if I put the cliffs right up against it, I'm gonna have a hard time taking it out to customize it, you know what I mean? Because like the flowers are right there, blah, blah, blah. So let's go fix this right now. Let's just take care of it now. I kind of like this bamboo fencing, so let's see. And if not, we can just do this blue park fencing that I'm obsessed with or, or not because my pockets are full, okay. Okay, let's see. Because I like the green because it's very natural and this is a pretty natural looking area you know what i mean i mean i think it's cute i think i like it i think it just looks very green against the grass but i think if i put some cliffs behind it which is what we're gonna do then that'll help a lot because the cliffs are you know it's got that dirt so it's gonna we're gonna see it right up against the dirt instead just trust me on this you guys just trust me i don't like these as much individually as the other fence but it's okay honestly i'm not gonna go back and pick all of those back up <laughs> it does look so cute like on on the either side of the tree that's really cute let's go ahead with the uh cliffs let me show you what i was talking about see we got this background okay that's <sighs> anyway we got this like dirt back background against the fences so i like it a lot better when you're looking at it like this it's not up against the green grass in the back it's up against the uh the dirt of the cliffs and, it, and it, that, that makes it look better this tree please don't give me issues it's gonna it's gonna give me issues isn't it no <laughs> all right let's see how far away it has to be it has to be this far which it's not too bad maybe we can still make it work gonna round off these pieces as i go so i want it to be like a cute little pathway and then we can like decorate the top and everything oh it's gonna be so cute i think i hope i pray <laughs> and then we're gonna basically force you to go this way this tree really threw a wrench in all my plans but i love the orange tree there and then another thing is i don't want to bring this too close to like this area because i still want there to be room to go back and forth here <laughs> oh it's a struggle it's a struggle you guys you see my vision though you see my vision it's a good vision. Maybe if we bring this on this side instead, that'll give us a little bit more room. I wish I didn't have to because I really liked it on the other side, but you know, for this vision to work, we need to make some, some sacrifices. That leaves us with just this little tiny path here, but that's okay. I mean, you can see that there's stuff over there. Your eyes will naturally lead over there, I hope. Why does this one look so nice and this one looks so booty? I'm gonna try to fix up this edge. I don't know what I did wrong. How do cliffs work? Help. No, I don't want to put any more cliffs over here. I was gonna try to make this, you know, extend a little bit more, but I don't think I want to put more cliffs. I want to leave this bench area, like, accessible enough. Can you even sit on this? You can't. Okay, well, does it even matter at this point if it's accessible? I don't know. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, honestly. Um, I don't have a ladder. Let me grab a ladder. Where is my ladder? Just a question. What the heck? Where- literally, where's my ladder? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go buy one. I guess it works out because my inventory is literally full of flowers, so let's go empty that out at, at the same time. <laughs> what the heck? I've, like, never lost my ladder before. I make sure that I don't get rid of that bad boy definitely one of my villagers probably stole it you know st stuff happens comment below who you think stole it i think it was bob you guys like flowers i really hope that you do do they not sell ladders guys what what are timmy and tommy even good for if they don't sell freaking ladders i could have sworn they sold that okay Okay, I guess we have to go craft one. I just want to decorate the top of my clips. Why is this so hard? Why does this have to be a whole thing? Stop, stop taunting me. Okay, give me my stupid ladder. Thank you. This is literally all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do this. I don't know why that was, I don't know why that was so complicated. Anyways, I want to do some waterfalls. I mean, I was thinking like on the inside near the path, but I don't think we have enough room. So we could at least do like one little waterfall going to this river that's the least that we can do really well i think it's the most and the least that we can do now i do want to check how it looks on the map and not that it really matters 
but yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, cool. My map is still chaotic. If I really wanted to, I could shave off some of this like on the side and we could have enough room to do... Oh, we could maybe have enough room. I actually don't know. To do something. Let me see. Does it let me put some water down here? Oh, it does. Because we could have some, some little waterfalls going in here. Let's see. Aw, Gail, thank you so much for the moral support. I appreciate you so, so much. Okay, well, I mean, we could do that. And then we can round this off. And then I think we'll probably get rid of... Uh, not you, Gail. You're staying. We'll probably get rid of this... Excuse me. <laughs> Let's get rid of this, because it's not really doing, doing anything for me. We could put a little puddle right here. And then, like, I'll put, like, a little karopi snack or a ducky or something. That'll be really cute. Well, I think I'll do that. I'll leave those waterfalls just for some extra pizzazz, you know? And then we can get to decorating. Honestly, I, I don't really know what to put up here. I hadn't planned ahead that far. <laughs> hey, Cliff Bestie. You got a tree. Lucky you. Let's put a bamboo tree. Wow. Okay, let's go rummage through my storage shed. See if we can find some cute stuff to put up here. Okay, I grabbed a couple of things. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Since I... Gail. Oh, Gail, that did not look right. Since I can't put trees on this cliff, we could try to do some of the mushroom platforms. And that could give us some height instead of the trees. Nice. Okay. Okay. So what would be really cool is if I could put a mushroom platform literally right where I'm standing. Look at you. You're so cute. Okay, do I want yellow? Or do I want... I think I brought a green one. That's another yellow one. We could do green. I like the green. Okay, then we get rid of this cliffy. And there we go. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling this. Let's put another one. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love it. I really wanted like another bubble machine, but I don't have any more. So I was thinking something like this. I don't know. I still think a bubble machine would be cuter. I might order some. We could order two and we could put them on either side and it'll be like an archway of bubbles. Say no more. Say no more. All right, let's go to tomorrow. I will catch you there and we will grab our stuff. The best part of this is that I get to go use my brand new post office. Ooh, I'm so excited. We just redid the post office in a recent stream. So here it is. Here's a little look-see. I think it looks a lot better than what it was before, even though I did love it before. But here we go. We have all of our stuff. Let's go ahead and grab this and then we'll get back to work. Okay, I made the bubble machines white so they're not too much of an eyesore. And we're going to put them right here and they just blow the opposite way. Is that because of the wind? That's absolutely not what I wanted. Like, it's really actually not what I wanted. Let's try to put it closer to the edge. Okay, that's at least a little bit closer to the edge. It doesn't make the canopy of bubbles like I wanted it to. But this is not a perfect world, unfortunately. Tulips. We can do some bug friends. Maybe we can put a balloon. I feel like a balloon would be cute. There we go. That's- I like that better. And now we have this other section to face. I think the bubble machine should go literally right here. Right next to this tree. So let's put this bad boy here. Does this one make the little canopy like I'm thinking of? Is it just the wind? It is just the wind. <gasps> Stupid wind. Okay, well at least that one does what I was imagining. So that's <laughs> that's definitely a plus. I think I'm going to try to hide this one with a bush. On this little corner, I'm thinking this is where we put our karopi snack. And then let's put some pink mums right here. And then I really want to put some furniture back here. Maybe some more mushroom platforms. Maybe a small one. But then I think I'm going to swap out these mums because that's too much pink. Too much. Way too much. We'll put some yellow tulips instead. And I think I just realized that I'm trapped here. Oh, I love being trapped. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, before I untrap myself, let me put some more custom designs right here. What should we put? Let's put this little flower. I feel like I never use this enough. I mean, honestly, there's room for another karopi snack, so why not put one, you know? And I don't think we really have room for anything else, like furniture-wise, so I'll just put some green mums right here. I think it's cute. I think it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. The bubble machines, you know, I was imagining them both shooting across and it makes like a little canopy, but this is good enough. It's good enough. Okay, let's go over here. This is where I wanted my little toy ducky. This is where you belong. Okay, that is a knot on the puddle. Excuse you. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. 
That wasn't so hard, was it? I put this little ducky at the top. Over here, I can put some of those planks just to like show you guys like, hey, you can, you can walk over here. You can definitely move and walk and shake your thing back here. Maybe another puddle over here. You can never really have too many puddles. Like, honestly, okay, yeah, there we go. I think this is finished. I think it came out so cute. It's such a nice little addition. And it definitely kind of like separates the two areas. And it's also cute. And it's not, it's not a chaos area, which is like the most important thing. Okay, it's a little bit later. I just noticed that red is here. Um, but I went and took a break. Look at, wait. Oh my goodness, look at my rocks. <laughs> They're all forming over here. No, the rock garden. This is not where I wanted it to be. Um, but it's a little bit later. I went and took a break. I had a sandwich and we've been watching the Queen's Gambit. Oh, I also didn't know I had a campsite villager. Okay, who the heck is this? Aw, cute little ducky. You're very cute. Oh my goodness, and you have a sandwich. <gasps> that looks exactly like the sandwich I had for lunch. I literally put like way too big of tomato slices in it. It looked exactly like that. Wow. But I want to keep working on stuff, so we're going to keep working on stuff. I think what we should do next is the school makeover because that's not too much work. We just have to like kind of destroy everything and put it all back and make it look nicer. You know, just easy peasy. I think this this is the last area that is going to have a total makeover. And then after that, the only other place that I think I have is Cousteau's house. And like I said, the interiors of stuff. So this is the last and final like makeover of Leapfrog. Oh my goodness. So here's what the school is looking like right now. Like it's cute, right? I mean, it's okay. The tiles, we won't talk about the tiles. <laughs> my little froggy school, I, I love it very much, but I know I can definitely improve it and make it even better. The thing that does kind of throw a wrench in my plans is that I need to have this this like circle path that's going on here. There's some in-game pathing that's underneath all these custom designs. I need to have it because this is my map froggy's other eyeball. Like we're on top of his eyeball. Oh, e you know what? Even though I took it off on the other one. Wait a sec. Yeah, I took it off on the other eyeball. <laughs> He doesn't have a pupil now. Okay, well, if I took it off on the other one, you know what? Then we don't need it over here. So we can take that off, I guess. <sighs> It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. Like, it's fine. Gail, what are you- Gail is always up in my business today. She just wants to be wherever I am. She's like my cats. Like, if I go into the office, my cats are in the office. If I go, like, lay down and take a nap in bed, they go lay down and take a nap in bed with me. It's pretty cute. Except Gail is not a fluffy little kitty. Gail is a- are allig no, alligators are not slimy. They're like scaly. She is a scaly alligator. <laughs> I'm thinking I also want to change up kind of like the layout of the school. Before, as you saw, I had like the um the desks and stuff right here. And then Henry's table and like the teaching area was over here. But I'm thinking I want to make the teaching area over here and put like the chalkboard here and put his desk. And then like down here and maybe like spread out across is the is the chairs and desks and stuff since this area is pretty wide on the sides i could put like lockers and stuff like that we would have a little bit more room for things of that nature so that's what i think i'm gonna try to do but i'm gonna go ahead and fix the rest of this take the rest of this pathing off and i will be right back oh hello sir you decided to come out and witness all of the work that i'm putting into this for you? Oh, you're just gonna walk away, huh? You're gonna walk away from the problems? This is why we're getting a divorce, Henry. This is why! Okay, and done. And I just noticed how many fossils are on the side over there. Alright, I will have to deal with those uh, later. Now, I'm gonna do the hardest thing, which is try to decide what I want to use for the floor. We could try to do a little rainbow. The only thing is the rainbow could be a little overwhelming. Like, it is a bit much. There's a lot of colors going on here. We could just do this gray tile, pretty basic. Or we could do a mix of these tiles, which is mainly what I use throughout my island. I don't know. <laughs> we just have like two really colorful options and then just one like plain one. I'm wondering if mixing in these gray tiles with these colorful ones would look too out of place. Cause this could be a good way to incorporate color, you know, have it be nice and colorful, but not too colorful. I don't know. I don't, I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
I I decided I don't like it. Okay, what if I fill in all of the dark squares? Does this make me like it a little more? Potentially. I think I like it better without the dark gray. That was that wasn't my best idea. It was not my best work. I think this is good though. Uh yeah, I just didn't like it with the dark squares. Um, it is a school, I have to remind myself. It's a little froggy school, so it's gonna be nice and bright and colorful and maybe a little chaotic. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and order some of like the school lockers, because I don't have any, but I definitely wanna use those. And then I'm gonna go run to Harv's, customize a couple of things, go to the next day, and then I will meet you back here. All right, we are back. I think I want Henry's desk to be over here. Then we'll put the chalkboard, but I, I definitely wanna put something tall behind here. We have enough room for something. A balloon. <laughs> it's not as tall as I would've liked, but it gets the job done. Um, And then let me actually bring the, the desk over here. I feel like, this makes more sense. Then I want to have like a little plant over here. I feel like that's really cute. And then I'm going to start putting down the desks. I did change the color that they were. They were like the white and the red, but I didn't really like that too much. So I went with like this wood and green. I feel like that's, that's more fitting anyway, you know? Okay, there we go. I wish so badly that I could put froggy chairs instead of stools, but I really want the Kropi snacks to be sitting on the stools. You know what I mean? So that's what we have to kind of like go with, unfortunately. I'll just reuse these stone stools. I can probably give Henry a froggy chair. We could probably do that. Maybe these two are like talking in class, having a conversation together. I'm gonna put a tree stand D over here just for some more like height. And then also in the side is where I'm gonna put all of the lockers and stuff. I made them just like a whole bunch of different colors. Let me get one that's not green to go next to this green tree. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. And we have a lot of places to put like extra items. We can put something on top of each of these lockers, on top of all of these desks. So this is gonna look nice and filled in. Um, I did order the other locker that needs to go right here. So let me go grab that from the mailbox. Okay, here we go. There's those lockers. Oh, I think that makes such a nice addition. Okay, over here, I noticed we had a little bit of empty space kind of. So I grabbed this little artsy table and I'm just going to throw that down and this can be like, I don't know, something. We could put this on it. Lab experiments. That looks good. And then Henry definitely needs some stuff that he's working on. He can have like a little computer. He's already got a lot of papers on the desk. So here's all like the homework that he has to grade and stuff like that. And then let's go ahead and put some stuff on their desks. I'm going to do some homework sets, a little scrapbook, an essay set, and just a simple little book on this one. And then I'm thinking <laughs> whoever sits here is just gonna be absent for the day because I don't have another Kropi snack. So we're just gonna leave that, that one empty. And then I'm gonna put some stuff on these lockers as well. Got some little books going up here. This moss ball, I don't know, just a little decorative plant. Some magazines up there. I'll leave the red one empty for now. And then I think I'm just gonna put this like lost book item there as well. And then to fill in a little bit of space down here, I'm gonna put these like stacked bottle crates. I don't know what's in them. It's something. Oh, here's where we can put the pet flea. This is the class pet the flea that's where that can go we'll give henry his froggy chair and let's just put a book on the floor maybe somebody dropped one actually you know what this blue stool i can't i can't this person is just absent today so no chair no karopi snack but yeah i think that is it pretty pretty simple really I really like how this came out. I like the layout and everything a lot better than the other school. I just I just think this came out so much nicer. Just a nice little remodel. Honestly, we didn't even end up using that many 2.0 items, but that's okay. I still like how it how it came out. It's a nice little refresh, you know. I'm also going to pull this plant up just a wee bit. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Also pull this up a little bit. So it's kind of in the middle here. And yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that kind of jazz, fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed this little decorating video. Decorate along with me. And like I said, we're pretty much almost close to being done with the island. So keep an eye out for the final couple of like build and decorating videos coming out. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.